Welcome to 5 Minute School. Today's video I want to talk about Boyle's Law and Intrapulmonary Pressure. So I've included two images here uh, which I think will explain it quite well but I've also included a definition which you can see at the bottom of your screen. Uh, so let's begin the video. So Boyle's Law is basically a principle where we have pressure of a given quantity of gas uh, and that pressure of gas is inversely proportional to its volume okay and what we mean by inversely proportional to its volume or inversely proportional is as one value increases the other value decreases so as the pressure is going to increase sorry as the volume is going to increase the pressure is going to decrease and if the volume is going to decrease then the pressure is going to increase so let's look at it in terms of intrapulmonary pressure and via ventilation. So uh, what will happen if we increase uh, the lung volume during inspiration because we know that the diaphragm will contract and pull the lungs down and the volume will increase, the lung volume. What's going to happen is we're going to have a decrease in intrapulmonary pressure and it's going to be below the atmospheric pressure. So it's to sub atmospheric pressures so when this happens air is going to move into the lungs and on the other hand if we decrease the lung volume during expiration we're going to have an increase in the pulmonary pressure above that of the atmosphere so air is going to move out and uh, just bringing it back to Boyle's law this image here which you can see these images is, uh, they show a perfect uh, example of how Boyle's law actually works. You can see um, we've kept the temperature and the mass constant, but as we decrease, sorry, as we increase the volume, you can see how the pressure pretty much doubles. So we've um, half the volume and double the pressure. So you can see how they are inversely, inversely uh, proportional because as one is going to increase, uh, the other is going to decrease. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you found this video useful.